Welcome to Breaking Wire. Please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for more updates. The Rub Al Khali, or Empty Quarter, is a sea of sand where silence reigns and water is life's rarest treasure. For centuries, desert tribes survived by following rain and seeking hidden oases. But as Saudi Arabia modernized, cities rose and water demand soared beyond what the desert could provide. The nation faced a daunting question. How to sustain life and growth in a land with no rivers or lakes? The answer sparked a revolution. Saudi Arabia became a global leader in desalination, turning seawater into fresh water. Massive coastal plants now supply cities, but this solution brought a new problem. What to do with the leftover ultra-salty brine? Dumping it back into the sea threatened marine life, creating an environmental dilemma. The search for a better solution began, a quest that would push the boundaries of science and imagination. Could the desert itself help solve the problem created by quenching its thirst? The stage was set for a bold experiment, one that would transform both land and water. In the world's harshest desert, Saudi Arabia was about to bury an ocean beneath the sand, and in doing so, it would change the desert forever. Saudi Arabia is one of the driest places on Earth, with almost no rivers and little rainfall. For millennia, people relied on ancient underground aquifers, water stored during wetter ages. The oil boom and rapid development put immense pressure on these reserves. Ambitious desert agriculture drained aquifers in decades, water that took millennia to accumulate. As wells dried and oases vanished, the kingdom realized it was spending a non-renewable inheritance. The government scaled back water-intensive farming and turned to the sea for answers. Desalination plants now provide over half the nation's fresh water, but desalination is energy-hungry and leaves behind concentrated brine. Disposing of this salty waste threatens fragile marine habitats. The solution to one crisis had created another. Saudi Arabia needed a new approach, one that would protect both its people and its environment. The answer would come from deep beneath the desert, and it would begin with a radical idea, burying the ocean's salt. What if the brine from desalination wasn't waste, but a resource? Saudi engineers proposed burying millions of gallons of salty water deep under the desert. The goal? Protect marine life by keeping brine out of the sea, and see if the desert could safely contain it. The plan was to inject brine into deep, porous rock layers, sealed by impermeable cap rock. This geological vault would keep the salt water away from fresh aquifers and ecosystems. It was a scientific gamble. No one knew exactly how the desert would respond. Researchers monitored the project closely, eager to learn how the buried brine would interact with the underground world. The experiment was as much about discovery as it was about disposal. Saudi Arabia was about to find out if the desert could hold an ocean, and what might happen if it did. The outcome would surprise everyone. The logistics were staggering. Brine was piped from coastal desalination plants deep into the desert, through a network of massive pipelines. Geologists selected sites with deep, porous rock capped by impermeable layers. Natural underground vaults. Powerful pumps injected the brine hundreds of meters below the surface. The process was carefully monitored to ensure the salt water stayed contained. Millions of gallons disappeared beneath the sand, creating an artificial saline aquifer. On the surface, only pumping stations and pipelines hinted at the hidden transformation below. The first phase was complete. The ocean was buried. Now, all that remained was to wait and watch for consequences. No one could have predicted what would happen next. At first, nothing changed on the surface, but slowly, the desert above the injection sites began to transform. The buried brine displaced deeper moisture, pushing it closer to the surface. This subtle shift created a microclimate, slightly cooler ground, a touch more humidity. Dormant seeds, waiting for decades, found just enough moisture to sprout. Tough, salt-loving plants like saltbush began to appear, green shoots in a sea of sand. These pioneers stabilized the soil and started a chain reaction. As plants grew and died, they enriched the soil, allowing more life to take hold. The act of burying salty water had triggered a process of greening in one of the world's driest places. An accidental oasis was blooming, born from a bold experiment. The desert was coming alive. The new vegetation sparked a cascade of life. Insects arrived first, 
followed by lizards and small animals drawn to the green patches. The once silent desert now buzzed with activity. Bedouin herders noticed new grazing grounds for their camels and goats, an unexpected gift. These green spots became vital stops on ancient migratory routes. Scientists flocked to study the salt-tolerant plants, hoping to unlock secrets for growing crops in salty soils. The accidental oasis became a living laboratory, offering hope for agriculture in harsh environments. What began as waste management had become ecological restoration. The buried brine, once a problem, was now a catalyst for life. The project changed not just the land, but the relationship between people and their desert home. It showed that even bold human interventions can spark regeneration. The desert's transformation inspired new hope. And it offered lessons for a world facing its own water crises. Saudi Arabia's buried ocean holds lessons for every water-scarce nation. Brine can be a resource, not just a pollutant, if managed wisely. Inland burial protects marine life and may even spark new ecosystems. The project proves that unconventional thinking can turn problems into opportunities. Nature's response was more complex and beautiful than anyone expected. We must be humble, adaptive, and ready to learn from the unexpected. The accidental oasis is a testament to life's resilience and to human ingenuity. As water crises loom worldwide, Saudi Arabia's experiment offers hope and inspiration. With creativity and care, even the harshest deserts can bloom. The echoes of this buried ocean may shape the future of water management everywhere.